Hi, my name is Tommy Rosen, and I'm a yoga teacher in Los Angeles, California, teaching yoga and addiction recovery. Today we're going to talk about step four. Step four is made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. When we come to step four in the 12-step program, this is where the work really, really begins. We sit down and we, basically we lay out on paper all of our resentments. And interestingly, when we lay out our resentments from the beginning of our life to the point where we are now, for the first time when we do that, we realize it's really the story of our entire life. That we've been carrying resentment with us. Uh, that energy of resentment has been sapping so much of our life energy uh, and wasting it on mental energy being concerned about something that no longer exists at all. It doesn't really matter if you've had challenges with addictions, big ones, or, or not. The fourth step, the action of taking personal inventory, looking at what's inside of you, is something that every human being should be doing on a regular basis, you know, at, at intervals in your life. I love the yoga, uh, uh, the yoga parallel with the fourth step. You know, every time you get on the mat and practice yoga, it's a fact-finding mission about what's going on. There's a saying I like to use, the issues are in your tissues. And it's a perfect analogy for what goes on when we get stuck energy, stuck emotional traumatic energy in the body. And through the practice of yoga, we actually squeeze those issues, literally squeeze the issues out of our tissues so that we can move forward and progress as human beings. For me, I literally found that before I did a fourth step, before I did the writing and looked inside to see what was there and to clear that stuff out, I couldn't, I literally couldn't move forward in my life. I equally found that without the practice of yoga, I became stuck in ways that yoga basically freed me from. It literally squeezed the issues out of my tissues. So this idea of taking personal inventory, very powerful concept. Um, and in the 12 step sense, where you know, the process is to write down your resentments and to take full ownership of your resentment. So if I'm, you know, having conversations with, you know, my mother or father because I hold a resentment towards one of them, and I'm having conversations with these people in my head, who's losing there? Right? Like I'm the one paying the price because I'm feeling the emotional challenge of carrying this negative feeling around all day. It's getting in the way of my life. So the any process that can help me let go of resentment and bring me perfectly present, that's a process that I'm going to be excited about. That's the 12-step work of doing the fourth step, and that's the, the, the practice of yoga and meditation. That will bring me present. That will allow me to let go of the past so that I can be here, and, and not just be here, but be comfortable in my own skin. So this step, this fourth step, critically important. So many people spend far too much time, you know, uh, stagnating on this step. I'll talk to people. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm still in my fourth step. I'm like, oh, how long, it's, how long has it been? They're like, oh, I'm on it for nine months. I'm like, oh, how awful to stay in that energy. If you're on your fourth step, move through your fourth step. Don't get stuck in your fourth step. And you'll find that the minute you get through, through it again, the issues will be removed from your tissues. You're going to feel a lot better. I wish that for you. So bring the hands together at your heart and take a deep inhale. And exhale and bow your head. Namaste.